in Christ. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration, sisters and brothers who join us in worship at the diocesan shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ, the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. We offer this Mass for the repose of the soul of Regina Jimenez David. Our Mass presider today is Archbishop Socrates Villegas. Our celebration will now begin. Let us all rise.
the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And, all, and with your spirit. We have come together seeking peace, not only for Rina, but for ourselves as well, so that face to face with death, we may be assured by the presence of the Lord, and we may have peace in our hearts, in spite of the grief we carry in our souls. Let us ask the Lord of mercies to welcome Rina to paradise and to count her among the saints in heaven. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, in whose presence the dead are alive, and in whom your saints rejoice full of happiness, grant our supplication that your servant Rina, for whom the fleeting life of this world shines no more, may enjoy the comfort of your light for all eternity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The first reading. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seem in the view of the foolish to be dead, and their passing away was taught an affliction and their going forth from us utter destruction. But they are in peace. For if before men and women indeed they be punished, yet is their hope full of immortality. Chastited a little, they shall greatly bless, because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace, he proved them, and as sac sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself. In the time of their visitation, they shall shine, and shall dart about a sparks through stubble. They shall judge nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord shall be their king forever. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love. Because grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his care is with the elect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The response is, 
Though I walk in the valley of darkness, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Though I walk in the valley of darkness, I fear no evil, for you are with me. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. In green pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. Response. Though I walk in the valley of darkness, I fear no evil, for you are with me. He guides me in the right path for his namesake. Even when I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. With your rod and your staff that give me courage. Response. Though I walk in the valley of darkness, I fear no evil, for you are with me. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Response. Though I walk in the valley of darkness, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. Response. Though I walk in the valley of darkness, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Please rise to honor the gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you have been here, my brother would not have died. And even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise. Martha said to him, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me, will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I have come to believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Please be seated. We come together this high noon in order to thank the Lord for Superwoman Rina. Rina was Superwoman in a very real sense and uh, a multi-hyphenated person. She was a daughter, a wife, a varsitarian, one of the media girls of Cardinal Sin, one of the angels of Felix Bautista, writer, journalist, feminist, activista, all of that put together, 
All of that is superwoman, Rina David. But at the end of it all, the hyphens started to drop, one by one. The hyphens were dropped one by one, from the inquirer, to social activism, to feminism. And at the end of it all, there was only one hyphen for Rina David, child of God. And that is what we celebrate this afternoon. Rina, super child of God, which she received on the day she was baptized, which she sustained by her life of prayer as a wife, as a mother, as a lola, as a friend, which she sustained by her faithfulness to the church and the teachings of the church. So, Rina, the child of God, has returned to the Father's house, and rightly so, because she does not belong to us. She belongs to God. In, their last, in the last years of Rina, we know that she suffered so much because sickness touched her body. And not only did sickness touch virus, bacteria, ailments stayed in her body. We all know her health condition in the past months. But despite all these maladies, despite all these pains and aches that possessed the body of Rina, at the end of it all, all the needles had to give up, all the medicines had to give up, because at the end of it all, the body of Rina was only and always temple of God. If we honor the house of Rizal or Aguinaldo, because national heroes live there, we honor the house of Rina because God dwelt in this body. She was truly God's temple. And not only was she a child of God, she allowed the Lord to dwell in her soul. She allowed the Lord to live in her heart. And for this, we are grateful. Because through the 68 years that Rina lived here on earth, we knew that we were seeing the face of God when we saw her. We knew that we were reading the Word of God when we read her. We knew that we, are, we were seeing the smile of God in her smile. We knew that we were being loved by God by the way Rina loved all of us. And uh, at the end of it all, Rina is not just Jimenez David. And let me explain why. In the life of another feminist in the church, Santa Teresa de Avila, when she was being persecuted by some bishops and cardinals for her reform movement in the church, in depression, in frustration, in disappointment, in cynicism and almost skepticism and discouragement, Teresa was about to give up. One morning, when she came down from the convent, she saw a little boy, around 12 years old, playing inside the cloister. She was surprised because it was a sister's convent and they had no children. So, with fondness, Sister Teresa said to the boy, Good morning. My name is Teresa de Jesus. What is your name? And the boy said, Good morning. I am Jesus de Teresa. The Lord Jesus appeared to Sister Teresa in order to assure her, You have chosen to belong to me. Now I want to assure you, I belong to you. Sorina is no longer Jimenez. Rina is no longer David. Rina is no longer the wife and daughter. Rina is no longer the Lola and sister. Rina is only 
de Jesús. He is now Regina of Jesus forever. She will now stop counting her age. She will no longer be affected by the calendar years. She will no longer be affected by the passing of days and months because she has entered into a world that is ageless because Rina is with Jesus and Jesus is with Rina. We thank the Lord for a superwoman like her. At the end of it all, a child of God. At the end of it all, temple of God. At the end of it all, belonging to Jesus and Jesus belonging to her. Rina, thank you for loving us. Thank you for showing us the dignity of being a Christian, of being a woman, of being a wife, of being a mother. Rest in the Lord. Rest in Jesus, to whom you really belong. Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father where he intercedes for his church. Confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord Jesus, we join our prayers to his and say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Prayer of the Faithful. Lord, for Rina, who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, that she may now be admitted to the company of saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. For Rina, who ate the body of Christ, the bread of love, life, that she may be united with Christ in the new life of the resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have fallen asleep, in the hope of rising again, that they may share in the glory of the resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the family and friends of Rina, <clears throat> that they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord, who wept at the death of his friend Lazarus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all of us gathered here today, that we may draw strength and courage in the promise of resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all our beloved dead, let us honor them by keeping their beautiful memories and by praying for the repose of their soul. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray for our personal intentions in those offered at this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord God, hear our prayer. Giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the prayers of the Redeemer Jesus Christ and the voices of your people whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a place in the kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
pray, brethren, that your sacrifice and mine rise. may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And your hands, praise and glory of his name. Grant our supplication, we pray, O Lord, that this sacrifice may benefit your departed servant, Rina, since through its offering you have loosed the offenses of all the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ your son our lord for us one alone he accepted that so that we might all escape from dying as one man he chose to die so that in your sight we all might live forever and so in company with the choirs of angels we praise you and with joy we proclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. <laughs> Oh 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, our Bishop, Honesto, and all the bishops, the clergy, the religious, and the laity. Remember your servant, Rehina, whom we have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she, who was united with your son in death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all of that in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. of it all, we are God's children, and our dwelling is heaven, not this world. Let us renew our confidence, let us pray for the coming of God's kingdom. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. This is the Lord. We belong to Him, and He now offers Himself to us. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the feast of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should, that you under should enter roof. under my roof, but only, but only say, say the, the word. word, and my soul shall be healed. Lord, let your servant 
go in peace for oh, your word has been fulfilled my own eyes have seen the salvation which you Servant, go in peace. For your word has been fulfilled. The light shall reveal to the nations, and the glory of your people, Israel. Servant, go in peace, and your word has been fulfilled. Lord, let your servant go in peace. Eternal rest grant unto Rahina, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. May the soul of Rahina and all the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Let us pray. Let us all rise. May the sacrifice of your church, we pray, O Lord, benefit the soul of your servant, Rina, so that she who received the sacrament of Christ's mercy may enter his company together with your saints. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We will now pray the novena for our sister Rina. Yes, please kneel. Creator and Redeemer of all mankind, through the infinite merits of passion, death, and resurrection, we beg you to shower the immense treasures of your clemency on those blessed souls, especially for the eternal repose of the soul of Regina. Bring those who are in sin to a true knowledge and repentance and grant what we asked for in this novena through Christ our Lord. Amen. Jesus, through your blood on the cross, ha. Jesus, through the blow you receive on your sacred face, Jesus, through the cruel scourging you endured, in the soul of Rahina. Jesus, through the crown of thorns that pierce your head. The mercy in the soul of Rahina. Jesus, through your carrying of the, of the cross. The mercy in the soul of Rahina. Jesus, through your face covered with blood, which you allowed to be imprinted on the veil of Veronica. The 
mercy and the sword of the evil. Jesus, through your garments, which were cruelly removed from your wounded body, the mercy and the soul of the healing. Jesus, through your holy body nailed on the cross, the mercy and the soul of the healing. Jesus, through your side pierced with a lance, and from which flowed blood and water, the mercy and the soul of the healing. Our Father, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be heaven. thy name, thy kingdom, kingdom come. Thy will, will be done earth on earth as, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as you forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto Regina, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace. Amen. Please rise. Trusting in God, we have prayed together for Rina, and now we come to the last farewell. There is sadness in parting, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see Rina again and enjoy her friendship. Although our family will disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of His kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. Let us say together, receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Receive her soul and present her to God. Saints of God, come to her aid, come to meet her, angels of the Lord. May Christ, who called you, take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. May light eternal shine upon her, O Lord, with your saints forever, for you are merciful. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Let us pray. To you, O Lord, we commend the soul of Reina, your servant. In the sight of this world, she is now dead. In your sight, may she live forever. Forgive whatever sin she has committed through human weakness. And in your goodness, grant her everlasting peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Rina, thank you. May the angels lead you to paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. And may you have gathered here in faith and love, receive the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In peace, let us take our sister Ina to her place of rest.
Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you very much, Archbishop Sok and the SVD uh, priest who celebrated our Mass today. My call now on uh, the daughter of Rina Mia David. I had before sitting down and writing this was how which is fitting because my mom never discouraged me from asking questions she was in fact one of the best interviewers I know and watching her speak to a source was inspirational but also daunting she'd weave tough questions with jokes and personal reactions to put all of the people that she talked to at ease. When I have to listen back to my own interviews, I internally wince that I don't have my mom's easy grace when interviewing others. How do I even begin writing anything? My mom was a consummate writer and editor. She used to carry a notebook and pens around with her, especially a red pen. If you were a journalist before the age of social media, you know that once upon a time, people printed out their stories and editors would use a red pen to edit those stories. I once asked my mom to help edit my undergraduate thesis and then later application essays for grad school and I had never seen bond paper look so bloody before. But no doubt, she made it even better. Rest assured, I did edit this, but without my mom around, I had to turn to technology. I did not use AI. If you need to know why, please read the stories of this brilliant reporter named Emilia David at TheVerge.com. Um, other than that, how do I describe a life dedicated to fighting for equality, women's rights, and not being afraid of people in power. My mom was a passionate and vocal advocate for women's rights and equality, coming close to being excommunicated for her support of the Reproductive Health Act. Contrary to popular belief, my mom is a very religious person. She often turned to scripture when making a big decision but never back down a thing she believed in. The ability of women to choose, to live the life they want, to get pregnant when they want, and to be as safe as they can be. She even went on the campaign trail for the party list of Bansa Pinay, and if you've ever heard my mom talk, you know she's not exactly Masa, but she found herself comfortable to talking to people from all walks of life. How do I tell people that she was so brave? She was so outspoken, even when it was dangerous to be. I can't quite remember the exact news peg, but she once guested on a TV show to discuss a domestic violence case tied to a politician. I believe the politician or a supporter of the politician was, another, was the other guest. And she said with a full voice that the politician ought to be prosecuted. What people don't know was that right after, she got into our family car and asked my dad to drive as fast as he can because she was scared that the goons were going to be following after. But mostly, how do you even begin writing about her as a mother? How can one share with the world that she never stopped my brother and or me from exploring things that interested us? She was the heartbeat of our house in the way that things just worked because she and my dad were a good team. My parents are the best examples of a marriage, so much so that their letters to each other during their courtship were even featured in an exhibit. I hope that I get lucky enough to have that in the future. She made it her dream that she would watch me dance ballet at the Covent Garden 
once I started taking ballet seriously, that she made sure she was at as many of my performances as possible. And when I told her I was thinking about becoming a journalist, she never forced me to follow in her footsteps, nor did she stop me. She only told me that I didn't have to get a BA in journalism and that I should do what I liked in college because good journalists are, like her, well-rounded. She and my dad even got my brother a bowling ball once and a billiard stick and anything else to, to encourage him to find a hobby. She made sure we knew we could be as open with our affection and love and welcomed us, more me, to always hug and cuddle with her after a long day of school or work. But she'd always tell me off for rolling around in their bed in my outside clothes. She welcomed others into our family and with so much joy even folded her daughter in Natesh into our lives. That open love transferred to Kin, her long waited for her grandchild. She delighted in literally anything that he'd do. She spoiled him rotten, much to the chagrin of her children, but in the mold of grandparents everywhere. Kin was her baby boy through and through. How can people understand that while she had grace and empathy in droves, she can also be the most stubborn person? Anytime she was down with the flu, she still insisted on drinking Diet Coke with ice. When she was put on a no-sodium diet, the kinds of food she could eat dwindled, but she somehow bypassed the family to order japchae for lunch. She loved nothing more than watching Korean novellas and often stayed up until two in the morning watching those shows and other Netflix shows. She had her many passions, entertainment, even collecting villains when there was no more surface to display them, shopping, eating, and she gladly enjoyed them even if it was to her detriment. She found ways to still reach out to me even when I moved away. The first few months after I moved to New York, she emailed me asking how to connect her printer. She didn't exactly figure it out because she just got my brother to do it for her. Beyond all of that, how do I even begin to say thank you to the people who helped our family during her hospital visits? There are so many people to thank. And I believe it is my mom's ability to gather people that so many rallied around her. Thank you to Ate Heidi, Ninong Bell, and Ninong Danny for all the help and being with the family whenever my mom had to go to the hospital. Thank you so much to the sisterhood, her barcada from USC, for providing emotional support and invaluable help with logistics. Her classmates, the Rotten Apples batch of Marinol, have also been indispensable. Thank you to her other friends from USD, the Inquirer, Towns, the Women's Movement, and the extended Jimenez and Braganza clans. An entire world of gratitude to her doctors, nurses, and other health professionals who tried to ease her pain. I would also like to thank her caregiver, Liza who faithfully cared for her, even at the very end. But the question that most stuck with me is how do we go on knowing that she isn't around anymore to offer advice, a laugh, a hug, or even a sarcastic comment or two? There's a line from the Marvel TV show WandaVision that is devastating in its simplicity, rightly, it is in the form of a question. It goes, what is grief, if not love, persevering? I think that's the answer to how. I can write these things about my mother, Vina Jimenez David, because I love her, because she loved her work, she loved her advocacy, she loved her family, and most of all, she loved being herself. And I think that's why you're all here to celebrate her life. You love her too. And from the bottom of my heart, my entire family's heart, we thank you for the love that you've shown her. 
We will miss you, mommy. We'll continue asking the most important questions for you. Thank you very much, Mia. So we also wish to thank everyone who came here face to face for the mass. We truly, you truly love Rina. So maraming maraming salamat po. And um, we continue to pray for Rina in our daily prayers and masses. And um, we just like to thank also everyone who did the technical <laughs> help to make sure that we are live streamed. Maraming salamat din po dito sa ating uh, shrine, the diocesan um, shrine of Jesus, the divine word, for accommodating us here in the big church. Maraming salamat, especially to Father uh, Chrysostomo, Ronnie Chrysostomo. And the bishop, of course, came all the way from the group one. So with that, we wish to thank everyone again and good afternoon. Anything to announce? No? Okay. Um, would you like to have a photo op? Kayo dito.